Hello everyone and welcome back to the Armageddon Reviews channel. Now before we actually start this video, make sure you please hit that thumbs up and please subscribe as it would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, um, enough waffle, let's talk about the 2011 Vauxhall Corsa EcoFlex and let's give an up to date review on it and how it's fared after years of ownership. Let's, so let's crack on with the video. Okay, so like I've just said, we've got the Vauxhall Corsa EcoFlex right behind me. This one comes with a 1 litre engine. So this 1 litre engine comes with around 64 horsepower and a 0 to 60 time in around 17 seconds. And yes, I know that is appalling, but what else can you expect from a Corsa? And don't be expecting to hit crazy amounts of speeds in your Corsa because it only has a top speed of 96 miles per hour. That figure was produced in 2011. It's probably more or less 90. So moving on to the boot then, and you do actually get quite a bit. So in this course you get around 285 litres of luggage capacity. So you can easily fit suitcases and pretty much everything else that you ever need if you're buying a hatchback. So well done Corsa. Okay, so moving on to the rear seats then, and there's absolutely loads of space in here. If you want a three door car and you want to carry passengers and people in the rear, this is your best bet. It's much better and there's more space than in the Fiesta. And there's actually quite large side pockets in the rear and a little armrest for you shaped just for your elbow. As for the design, I think it's fared quite well, and to be fair, I only prefer the Corsa in this dark blue colour or silver or the limited edition white colour that comes in, um, as these tend to stand out more. But as for general usage on a Corsa, if you were to buy a second hand car, you most likely will come across small scratches and stone chips, unless it was kept in a shed. And one downfall with the EcoFlex that it comes with plastic wheel covers, which if curbed, Sometimes it doesn't look very nice. Okay, so moving on to the interior then, and you do actually get quite a lot of space in here. A lot of storage space as well. However, this car is starting to get really dated now, considering that most cars that get released now have touch screens here and touch, touch sensitive buttons. Anyway, that's besides the point. Because one feature that I do like in this Corsa is that you do get um, like these side pockets on the side of the doors where you could place small stuff if you wanted. So you could place your sweet curry dip after you've gone on a night run at Mackey's. Anyway, so if you do opt for the three door Corsa, you do get these very large and heavy doors. So it, it gets really difficult sometimes not to ding other people's cars when you're trying to get back into your car. So this car is eight years old now and things are starting to, you know, break apart or you get the odd error message sometimes. Well, this problem, I had a very similar problem with my Ford Fiesta that I had and that's the glove box. It's literally broken. I had the exact same problem in my Fiesta. Okay, so as for the drive, um, it just feels like a typical hatchback to be fair with you. It has had a upgraded um, suspension from the previous generation Corsa, so the pre-2006 models. So it does feel rather comfortable, uh, but I'd advise you to buy this car for only city driving only at slow speeds like town driving, because on motorways it's quite slow. Uh, speeding up because it's got like quite low top speed so it does take a while to speed up on the motorway. Looking to buy a second hand Corsa like this one um, I would advise you to get a lower mileage one 
maybe 30,000 miles, 40,000 miles because this one's done around 55,000 miles and I could already tell the engine is starting to, you know, it's starting to feel slightly jerky. So I'd probably advise you to go for the Ford Fiesta over this one if you if you want to keep it for a longer time. Um, I'd probably advise you to get the one litre engine uh, and they, they could probably last up to 110,000 miles if you maintain it well. Whereas this one, the Vauxhall engines, they tend to you know start to break down at like 80,000 miles, 90,000 miles. Okay, so to conclude then, this would be a great purchase for your first car because it's such a cheap car to insure and the tax is very cheap as well. I think it's around £50. However, in the same price range, you could also purchase the 2013 Ford Fiesta EcoBoost, the one litre one, which has zero road tax. Uh, and you could watch that video by clicking on the screen somewhere, or you could check that out in the link down in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye bye.